Thank you all for listening. Hi, I'm Zakhar from Galia and today I'm going to talk about the Volvic Chromium backend. Volvic is a browser for XR developed by Galia. It supports the Android-based devices and was originally implemented using GeckoView as the browser backend. We are currently in the process of integrating a Chromium backend based on Content API. Before starting to work on the Chromium backend, we had to decouple the browser engine-specific code from the rest of the code base. We ended up designing an API to communicate between Volvic and the underlying browser engine, which allowed us to share most of the Volvic code between Gecko and Chromium, and most importantly, all of the platform-specific code. Uh, we had other attempts at introducing a Chromium backend uh, based on WP and WebLayer, but they were abandoned in favor of the Content API-based solution. Most important reasons for that are flexibility, good performance, and Android support. However, there are some downsides like the amount of code required to get started and the fact that your solution has to live inside the Chromium tree. To begin our Content API-based implementation, we first created a Chromium fork called Volvi Chromium, then implemented a shell similar to other shells like Content Shell, App Shell, or Chrome, and finally added some JNI interfaces to allow our shell to communicate to Volvic. We built Chromium content layer, parts of Chrome UI, and our custom code as a, an AAR library to be included by our Volvic Android project. To display the actual browser window, we use the Android Surface class as a canvas for web view. The instance of Android Surface is created by Volvic and passed to Volvic Chromium, where it's used by our modified version of the Content View class to display the web contents. The biggest feature for any XR browser is the WebXR support. Chromium supports several XR platforms like OpenXR, AR Core, and GVR. However, we opted to rely on Volvic's existing WebXR implementation, which is shared between Gecko and Chromium, because it will allow our Chromium backend to support the same hardware as the Gecko backend. So we introduced a new WebXR platform to our Chromium fork called WVR, which supports our existing multi-backend API and uh, uses shared memory to communicate with Volvic efficiently. We currently use Texture Mailbox as a transport method, but we are also working on the hardware shares buffer support. There's a number of other features that are implemented by the Chromium backend, like navigation, user input, incognito mode, and so on. We're getting close to being on par with the Gecko backend in terms of functionality. Most of the WebXR content and 3D video content is supported, but there are still some bugs. Uh, performance of Chromium backend is better than the Gecko backend, and overall we are getting close to releasing the first versions of Volvic based on Chromium. Thank you for your time.